We are a week out from ExalCon 2023 and what is likely to be the most monumental event in the history of Path of Exile so far. I'm ready. I hope you're ready. My mom gifted me hurts. I am super hyped for these streams. And guess what? Today, we are going to count down the best moments from the first ExileCon, ExileCon 2019. An occasion that charmed many, including myself truly, into trying and loving Path of Exile for the first time. Number 10, the mobile fall guy. It's no secret Blizzard shook the world with the Diablo Immortal announcement in 2018. However, it was discovered Grinding Gear Games had also been working on a mobile project for Path of Exile, a more bite-sized experience involving running maps and super short play sessions. Upon its reveal, they poked fun at how difficult it was to announce. They even mocked a mobile fall guy, but let everyone know two things. Number one, they announced a massive expansion first, and two, it wasn't going to be pay to win, despite being free to play. To this day, this has remained true in Path of Exile's core game as well. The community trusts the developers on this point. <laughs> so needless to say, around a year ago, it became real difficult to announce that. <laughs> <laughs> but we figured if we, if we make a sequel and give you that first. <laughs> so Number nine, Melee Bows. Wacky interactions are one of the greatest things about Path of Exile. Oftentimes, the developers encourage it. During the new Ascendancy reveals, they revealed one of the new Ascendancy classes for the Ranger would allow characters to use particular melee skill gems with bows, transforming bows into melee attack-based weapons. The crowd were in absolute disbelief of this reveal. I cannot wait for the next moment like this during ExileCon 2023. Close combat specialist. Well, um... <laughs> 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 Number 8, the trading card game. We all know GGG pushes an absolutely insane amount of content out, even for a live service game. However, few expected them to design, manufacture, and play out an entire in-person trading card game during their first convention. People who attended ExileCon in 2019 were given a set of cards that represented items in Path of Exile. They could use those items to grow in power and could find more by defeating monsters, which were represented by the GGG employees. This encouraged fun interactions between the devs and fans and apparently very late nights as people tried their stab at the Shaper, of course played by Chris Wilson himself. After this announcement, someone had to shout at Chris. It played out well enough. There's one other thing I wanted to mention. Thanks, I know who you are. <laughs> I, I, I know the account name. <laughs> Number seven, the Zero Knowledge Panel. ExileCon 2019 began with a content creator panel of Ziggy D, Kriparian, and Tarka Cat. They were quite frank about the fact that they knew absolutely nothing about the upcoming announcement. However, what followed was a mix of lovely speculation, funny hijinks, and heartfelt stories about their starts in Path of Exile. Did you know Kruparian dropped a Divine Orb on his very first zombie kill? The panel concluded with a surprise appearance from Chris Wilson, who was obviously extremely excited about the upcoming announcement, a sentiment shared by everyone else in the theater. It's been a long day so far. <laughs> <laughs> and it's only just begun. In 20 minutes, you're going to be uh, up on stage doing the keynote presentation, and uh, obviously yeah. not going to spoil anything for us, so... Oh, maybe some bits and pieces. Would you like <laughs> to rehearse it one extra time before nice. it goes live? Okay, well, I start with, hi, I'm Chris Wilson from Grinding Gear Games. Oh, oh and then the crowd it. goes That's wild. That's a great part. Yeah. <laughs> Number six, Einhar Stalling. One of the most unhinged individuals in all of Rayclast, the Beastmaster Einhar, hyped up the crowd before the keynote presentation. Although some thought it went on a tad too long, he brought a few laughs and, surely, stalled for a bit before the big three walked on stage. His costume design was fire, his voice, as always, on point, and his presence a welcome addition to ExileCon 2019. Will we see him at ExileCon 2023, or will another master take center stage to welcome in the first speakers? We'll see very soon. This is not Einarkorn! 
this is Exile Corn! Number five, the introduction. Straight in the middle, you knew I'd need to have it in here, you totally sane exiles, is Chris Wilson opening up the keynote presentation with his iconic line. For numerous players, this brings them into the immersive world of Path of Exile. Chris opened innumerable videos with it from Path of Exile's inception all the way up until this moment. It brings a swell of emotions in everyone invested in the game and likely boosts Chris Wilson's power and confidence levels hearing the absolutely massive reception to it every time. Now, say it with him. Love you too. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Chris Wilson from Grinding Gear Games. Number four, don't die in the Chris Wilson and Quinn69 interview. Chris Wilson is always authentic and extremely passionate about his studio's game. Sometimes, as showcased here, he must push through even death itself. During the Quinn69 interview, he had a rough cough and a bit of a sore throat, likely from talking to hundreds upon hundreds of fans. Regardless, he pushed through, answering question after question without fail. That didn't mean he couldn't come close to death though, as pointed out by his completely hinged interviewer. We'll miss your interview style at this exile con, Quinn. Is that intentional? <coughs> Sorry, just choking here. <laughs> Don't die. So Number three, instant live gameplay by the devs. Immediately after announcing Path of Exile 2, Chris Wilson and Jonathan Rogers, two of the game's founders, hopped directly into a live gameplay demonstration of the mega expansion on the stage. Jonathan took the reins of the ranger and braved two areas in Path of Exile's first act, coming very close to death multiple times, but never truly biting the dust. Merely a month before, Blizzard revealed Diablo 4 with a banger cinematic trailer and a highly curated gameplay trailer. GGG had no problem showcasing the product in front of everyone live on stage. I absolutely adore their passion and notice the dichotomy. I'm definitely hoping for this to happen yet again this year. So, I'm sure you're wanting to see some 4.0 gameplay. We've prepared a live demo for you. Everything ready, Jonathan? Everything's ready. All right, let's go. Number two, the Path of Exile 2 reveal trailer. Only topped by one other moment at ExileCon 2019, the Path of Exile 2 trailer was an absolute banger and totally unexpected. People had no idea what they could be doing going into ExileCon. More acts for Campaign 1? Another endgame revamp? An insane league? Well, how about way more than that, plus a mobile project? The premiere trailer, though, blazed high above the rest, opening with the dark but brilliant hanging character selection scene the hauntingly beautiful music with the new witch washing up on the shores of the river, and then the reveal of novel area after area with the ultimate statement that this was a brand new campaign alongside the first. One game, two campaigns. The crowd loved it, especially the shape-shifting reveal. Plus, of course, there was a boat. A big one. Number one, Chris Wilson choking up. I won't lie, I'm emotionally invested in Path of Exile and grinding gear games. Unlike other games and their creators wherein I just play the game and don't really know the faces behind them well, I feel as though I know GGG and Path of Exile's face, Chris Wilson. They are all real, passionate, and dedicated to crafting the best possible experience for us all and for themselves. They love this game as much as many of us do and desperately want it to succeed. Not just for the money, of which there's a mound, but just to make a wildly amazing game. After years and years of writing patch notes, hosting videos and live streams, and responding on Reddit, Chris Wilson was indeed choked up after his company's most tremendous reveal yet. That was fantastic for him. He should have been choked up. They pulled off an absolutely incredible feat starting a game company in his garage and building it into a titan that could attract thousands of fans to fly to New Zealand and learn about its next chapter. 
I love seeing this sort of emotion from the people who make the games I enjoy. I hope you do as well, fellow exile. And I hope you understand we have something special here with Chris Wilson and the little indie company turned giant called Grinding Gear Games. <laughs> well, that feels amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Path of Exile 2 is a new series. Hey, you fellow exile. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. And if you would appreciate seeing more content like it, subscribe now. ExileCon is a week out and I'll be covering it in full on my channel. I hope you join me. You see all these exiles on screen, beached, totally sane, and unhinged. They help the channel grow with their direct support. If you would like to increase the quality and cadence of this content, join my Patreon or become a channel member now. Additionally, check out these juicy videos on your screen. Every minute you watch helps the channel grow. To everyone who watched until this ultimate moment, Tala Moana.